Dave here with Half Dozen Customs, back out here for a little Money Monday action. Uh, we've got the trunk back over here on the stand, and uh, we have our piece that we left off with last week um, that we are going to do our final finessing with it. Uh, we got it roughed in last week, now we need to make it look a little prettier. Um, so we have this last like little body line that we have to put in here. I'm gonna attempt, we'll see how it works. I'm gonna attempt to try and put that in um, with our bead roller instead of trying to hammer it in. Um, and maybe, maybe it'll come out a little bit cleaner. So um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm just, uh, Loosening stuff up so that we can like, switch out to the larger dies. So we're gonna switch these out to the biggest dies in a half. Um, and uh, something that I've noticed with this thing the last few times that I've used it, um, you know, everybody that I've seen get these style of bead rollers they're reinforcing them and making them stronger they they always say that like when you're using them they're they're doing this so they're they're re-strengthening them you can get this from from eastwood this one's actually off of amazon and from everything that i i researched on on these before we got them, like this is the exact same thing that Eastwood has. It's just rebranded. Um, at least that's what other people are saying. But I have noticed that it, it's moving a lot now. It wasn't at first when we very first got this, but now it's it's moving a lot. Um, and and when it moves like that, it's. It's taking, you know, your wheels, you know, and it's cocking your wheels sideways when it's doing that. So I think, um, I think sometime soon we will be uh, beefing, beefing this guy up. Beefcake! Beefcake! Um, to try and stop it from doing that. But for right now, we're just going to keep using it. Okay, so, like I said, I think we're going to... Okay, so we got our other bend in there. Let's see if that <coughs> worked out. Okay, so close, but let's try that again. Okay, so we're pretty close here. But this, this bend that we put in here is supposed to roll around and then this bend disappears. So we need to hammer this all, all back to flat and, and make this curve here. So that's, you know, that's what we're going to work on doing. Um, I was kind of hoping maybe the, 
the um, the bead roller uh, would suck this through and, and we could flatten it out and round the corner with it but as soon as we're hitting that edge it's just stopping and spinning so um, it worked how I wanted but not really it worked but it didn't so it didn't work um, but yeah let's, so let's um, figure out what we're gonna do here um, need to I think we're gonna start with trying to flatten out this this edge here so I was kind of moving all around the table there using different corners and different edges of the table so I don't know how much of that you guys caught but um, let's check and see how our fitment's looking okay, I think that they come out awesome so let's uh, Work. Let's come over here to the shrinker stretcher and see. in here remember I told you it was, it was starting to curve up I told you in last week's video so now we're, we're kind of working back on the same plane Just, uh, I use that to try and straighten up this edge again. Um, now we gotta hammer this back flat over here and hammer this back flat over here. Um, but we're starting to, we're starting to get our straightness back in it. You know, a little, uh, little manipulation and and we're we're getting a little closer now I probably could have so I, I could have took a couple of teeth out of there and we could have not put this bend in here but I had this hanging off over the edge and we we recrimped our edge in here and, and it, it bent it regardless. So it wouldn't have mattered if I would have, you know, removed a tooth and tried not to bend it there. It still would have bent. We need a little bit more. I think this needs to be moved. Okay, 
So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna, we're gonna tuck this in behind where we need it. Okay, so we got this marked out. I'm not quite sure that we need to take that much off, um, but it gives us an idea of where we uh, need to start. So I'm gonna get the grinder um, and we'll we'll just keep grinding until until it fits. Alright, we'll get the welder over here. Alright, I think that thing fits good. I'm happy with it. Uh, I'm gonna get the welder over here, get it plugged in, set up, get a new battery, and you guys, looks like you guys need a new card as well. Um, and we'll be back to tack that piece in. Um, and once we get it tacked in and, it, and it's not going anywhere, um, I'm not going to go crazy tacking it in. We're going to try and tack it in like three or four spots. Just enough to, to hold it in spot, um, easy enough to cut it so that we can get it back out. Um, but then we'll make the outside piece um, and go from there. So I'll see you guys back here shortly. having a problem with welding there and somehow my uh, wire speed was cranked all the way up. Must have happened when I was moving it. Okay, well we got that tacked in place. Um, we need to clean up this edge a little bit here. it over, cut off the outside, and make that piece.
So, um, I tacked that piece that we cut off last week back on here um, so that we can use this as a template um, to trace out onto our metal. So let me clean off this workbench and we'll be right back. Okay, right. well, we got this marked out. Um, we are going to shear it off and bend it up and cross our fingers that it works out the first time. Um, the piece of metal you see me cut it from is, is all I have left here at the moment. Um, and I still need a little bit for this Jeep, so I'm trying really hard not to use metal out of that out of that uh, huge piece. Not that I need much for the Jeep. I only need a little bit, but I just don't, I don't wanna continue using that piece of metal until that stuff is done, um, which that stuff is on the bed of the Jeep. So until the bed gets back here, um, I'm really trying hard not to touch that metal. So anyways, let's fingers crossed that this works out the first time and we don't have to cut another piece. I think we're good even you know, a little trimming. Straighten this side out and just a little bit, a little bit farther in. Much better.
it's not bad. There, there's a little bit of a, a like a divot in here where we're gonna have our weld, but um, I I don't. You seen I tried to I tried to pull it out and I couldn't. You know I tried prying it out with the screwdriver. Um, you know the the metal's nice and even. Like I'm not getting a, a catch. I need a little bit right there. Um, like it's not catching my glove when I rub my finger over it. Um, but there there is a divot. It's like this. Uh, better um, we're gonna you know we're gonna pull the the inside piece back off maybe we can get back there and hammer it out I think this cuts above you know, I think our cut on the inside is like down here, so I don't think we're going to be able to get back there and hammer that out. But, um, I think that that looks, looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Let's see if we can make a piece to fit in there. This has a curve in it, so. All right, so. Um, mark this out. I think that's it for for this video um, we got a leaky airline Boleke, leaky. Boleke, leaky. Um, we got the inside made intact in place we got the outside made intact in place uh, we got the keyhole eliminated intact in place um, we have one little square that's over here in this corner uh, that we still need to make and put in but I still got to remove that inside and we're gonna you know do what we need to inside to protect everything um, so we'll make that when we go to put that piece back in um, but other than that hope you guys enjoyed the video I will see you in the next one remember to like subscribe share leave a comment have a good night y'all see you in the next one I'm out show you the Christmas lights.
see you guys later.